be making basics. What's going on YouTube? Be making basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe because we're coming back to back with bangers. Today's video, I'm gonna be going ahead and sharing how to use the beat breaker plugin to take your beats to the next level. So check this out. This is the beat I'm working on right now. Let's just check it out. And this is what the beat sounds like without the beat breaker plugin on it. Let's check it out. Pretty big difference. So what I want to do is just now let's just go ahead and break down what we did. I'm going to open up the Beat Breaker plugin just let y'all see behind the scenes here what I did on this. Um, basically, this is the Beat Breaker plugin. If you're new, you can just come over here, search Beat Breaker plugin if you're using Logic Pro 11. If you're not, just go all the way to Multi Effects. It's going to be the first one, Beat Breaker plugin. But basically, you can affect certain things like either via time, you can make stuff repeat, and you can affect how the volume sounds. Um, and then they have all these different like presets and stuff like that. What I did is I came over here and I'm using this reverse end. And then I pushed this up just a little bit or adjusted this end a little bit. And what that did is it's created like a, um, like it kind of dipped the beat. And then um, I went over here to repeat, put that in there and it chopped it up. So I'll have to show you from scratch, but let's just do this. Go over here, put it on here again. <laughs> it's gonna be the best way to do it. So I went to reverse in, as you can see here, when you put it on this preset, it has like a real crazy dip. Let's just listen to it, like just with this. So I kind of didn't like that. So what I did is I clicked on it and then just pushed the speed up some. You can just adjust this however you want. And you don't even have to put it on this reverse end. You can actually do that yourself. Just click over here and then take this down like this. So once you got that, then I come over here to the repeat and then I can come over to whatever measure, uh, bar measure, whatever that I want to put a repeat on. I think I was right here. And if you just scroll up, the higher you go, the more detailed the, uh, the chops get, but I just had it like a simple chop. So super simple, man. I mean, there's a whole lot of things you can do um, just using just the presets too, man. If you come over here. You take, take your melodies to the next level just using this plugin right here. And you can, the cool thing about it is you can always adjust the stuff in here. Uh, go back to time, pull this down. So like if you're using samples, this is going to be a great way to flip your samples using the Beat Breaker plugin. Um, you can come over here, go through all of these different um, presets. They also, if you click right here, they got all these different options. You know what I'm saying? But 
But anyway, I just wanted to just highlight that, that this plugin can really take your beats up to the next level. If you want a more thorough breakdown of um, how to use the Beat Breaker plugin and, and more tips on music production and different things like that, make sure that you get subscribed to the channel and also make sure you check out our Beat Making Master Bundle. Basically, it's going to come with all of our courses on our site, beatmakingbasics.com, also all of our drum and loop kits and our mixing templates. So grab that right now. It's at a special uh, introductory price for those who are new. So make sure you go check that out. I mean, full video courses with hours and hours of content, literally you're going to be probably like hundreds of hours of content. No lie, no stretch of imagination here. So make sure you check that out. Make sure you get subscribed to the channel. Appreciate y'all watching and I'll see you in the next video.